Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. It's so good to see you on this beautiful Wednesday. One of my lights is off. That's why I'm unevenly lit. <laughs> Everything is going according to plan. Why, why is that light not connected? Good. I'll fix that here in a second. Hello. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. It's been kind of a weird day for me. I've just been in meetings nonstop since first thing in the morning, so I had to get some lunch in me real quick and then uh, get started with the stream. But hopefully the next couple of hours will be pretty chill because we're just co-working. Um, let me post to all the applicable locations that I'm live. Oh, hello! How's it going? Haven't seen you in a while. We're just doing a chill little co-working stream today, so... You know get stuff done together. Accountability buddies. All right. And now, now you're early enough that you get to see me take a selfie. It's good. Okay. Oh yeah. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you've been doing well. All right. Put my little, uh, sticker. Hello, coding vibe. Thank you for being here. My one of my one of my lights isn't working because, you know, yeah, I know a lot of folks are looking to get back into it like this year. Um, it's hard when you take a little break, but it's very fun. Um, I need to turn this music down. It's too loud for my brain. I'm using a chill hops player, so it's a little bit different. Let me know how that volume is for y'all. Yeah, that's what I need to do, but I have to like get up and and do the light. It's fine. I'm uh, I'm doing all my promo tweets and and whatnot first. Co-working stream, come get stuff done. Oh, really? Hold on. Let me turn it up for y'all. How's that? Because I, I think I turned it down in too many places. Awesome, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna check Twitter, make sure my tweet went up. It did, it did. Okay, cool. Let me fix my light and I'll be right back. It's so good to see you, Michelle, from New Relic, <laughs> as you introduce yourself. Thank you for stopping by. It's good to see you. How have you been? 
There we go. Lights are fixed. Lights are fixed. All right. So we're going to do a little co-working stream today. We do Pomodoros here. So we have a little bit of work time and then a little bit of uh, focus. Or, no, the opposite. We have some focus time and then we have some break time. Um, I do talk in between the during the focus time, but uh, I talk less. So hopefully you won't be too distracted. Um, that's good. Can't complain is the best we can expect in this environment, I, I would say. Um, yeah, and feel free to, for, to tell us um, when we go into Pomodoro mode what you are working on. Um, so I'm, I'm pulling up Pomo Farm here to get us started. We've got one seed, I think. Yeah, that's all we can afford. We don't have any money. Um, but this will be our timer. And yeah, we can't afford any skills, so we will just get rolling. So first Pomodoro has started. What am I going to work on? That's the question I need to answer first. Uh, let's see. I have quite a few things on my list because I've been in meetings all day, so I haven't done any actual work, just meetings. I mean, meetings are work, but you know what I mean. Let's see. So I can work on... Okay, first I need to bother IT about some stuff. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do is some Slack messages. Dear IT, please give me access. Let's see, what is the thing I need access to called? There we go. We have a critical update in this course. Can we get that installed sometime this week? If possible, smile. Always with the smiley faces. Okay, easy. So that's, that's part one of some of the stuff I'm working on. And then I need to... Okay, I'm working on this Docker stuff. So I think I'm gonna dig into that real quick. I'm trying to set up Docker for the Komunda Community Hub. And I'm like, I've started whether or not it's going to be complete is another question. Apple watches are the best invention for two-factor off. Oh, that just tells me you're here. Hello, <laughs> for people that don't like chatting. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, yeah. 
One of these pomo times I should shave. <laughs> you should you should do that. Maybe not this one, but the next one, because it probably takes you 25 minutes. Um, never thought about using my Apple Watch for two two factor auth. Oh, it's um the Okta app pulls it up and you can just press it instead of having to grab your phone, which is more convenient for me. May or may not be depending on your use case. It doesn't work for the uh, SMS codes. I wish it did. I'm just trying to There we go. General request. Update forum. forum. Discord. To new. To new update? To new. I'll just say update. <laughs> yeah, I want to get it to where when you do hello or first or any of the stuff in my channel points redemption that you uh that something happens on the screen but i haven't set that automation up yet and i might wait until coding vibe can help me <laughs> okay Also, I got distracted and now I'm doing something else because I'm doing a live stream tomorrow with my friend Kai and I'm promoting it on LinkedIn. There we go. Nailed it. trying to close like 10,000 tabs. Yes. Yes. All right. And now we go to Docker.
I had joined the channel to ask our infrastructure team for something and they said, please go to our documentation on how to send us a good message, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, so they have a, um, it's, it's literally a documentation, documentation on how to like use their form to submit a request rather than, um, just a loose message. Like, Hey, this isn't working. Help. Oh, I love not knowing what any of this means. Let's see. Well, that's a great point, but the form is in Slack. So it's like, you have to press a, you have to press a button, which I wouldn't have known how to do. So I appreciate it, but a good point. There's some examples of a good and a bad question. Oh yeah, Bill Alexander. He has the angry Bob Ross. Yeah, he's, um, he was Bob Ross's, Coding Vibe will be able to explain this better than me, but he was Bob Ross's mentor um, and also uh, taught the same method and did TV, but he's not as appealing, <laughs> I would say, is a nice way to say that. If you're a healthy person, you'll produce a healthy painting. And I want to promote that. I'm 75 years old, so I don't have much left. But there's a tomorrow vibrating, the sun is rising, and there's so much power. Imagine it with like a much more stern German accent. Power. Yes, much more intense, much more intense. Extremely whimsical, just very German. Yeah, that's probably fair. And says power and almighty. Yeah, one almighty stroke. Do you think when you go to Google and you're looking for one of their things and it's an ad, do they have to pay for that? <laughs> we have the Bob Ross Chia Pet. We've just never actually set it up. Coding vibe. Set it up one day.
where am I where am I looking at? Yeah, um, I'm a little scared to with more uh, plants for now. I'm trying to trying to settle it down. We went to Home Depot the other day, and I didn't get a single plant. So pretty pretty great. Killing it. Uh, the plants I have that that are alive, you've successfully made it to the next house or whatever the other ones maybe not actually a couple of my plants died and they were just close to the window during the big freeze that we had they weren't even like outside <laughs> it was just cold and they're not doing great smart that's very smart i don't know what we're gonna do when we move um because we're moving cross country so it might be a load up the dog and the cats and the plants situation i don't know i haven't i haven't gotten that far yet i think i'm gonna have to get rid of a lot of them which is totally fine Luckily, I don't have that many um, big plants anymore. I have a big Meyer lemon tree, but I'm probably going to give that to my mom if she wants it. I only got... It took me a year to grow three lemons. And then I think last year I didn't get any. <laughs> If you see me just like going, huh? That's because I have no idea what this thing I'm trying to do is. But we're going to figure it out.
I'm clicking all the buttons to try to find the thing I'm looking for. Okay, break time. I, I see you. Let me try one more thing. That did not work either. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll take a break and get back to pulling our hair out after. Let's see. We got 25, nothing to sell. We just started fall, right? Yeah. So let's buy guess. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Buy two carrots. Plant. Water. Yeah. And that's it. Oh, man. Yeah, I've had the weirdest day today, just with meetings back to back and then um, not a lot of free time got a lot going on in uh at work and at home so feeling a little overwhelmed also i'm gonna eat a snack these are i just got these actually from work work sent like a little care package and uh there were some snacks in it this is off the eaten path chickpea veggie crisps probably good who knows oh they're they're lots of colors look at that My dog came running. He said, I heard something open. Okay. 
These are good. They taste like chips. Yeah, Miles is like, hello? I heard we were having snacks. <laughs> yeah, they just taste like potato chips, but they have like chickpea, chickpea flour and stuff. So there's a little protein. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Have a good rest of your day. Get stuff done. I guess. No, I don't know what time it is where you are. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, I think the person who wrote the documentation I'm currently using is way more technical than me. So there's a couple of like steps missing. And I'm trying to decide, well, I'm trying to figure it out on my own, right? And figure out when do I wave the, the white flag and say like, help, I need help. Mm. These are actually really good. If I see them in the store, I would buy them. Good stuff. Oh yeah, before I forget, let me do a shout out to Kai because I'm going to be on their channel tomorrow at, uh, what time is it? It's uh, 11 central time. And if you go on Twitter, they have a converter on their tweet about it um, that says what time it is in your time zone. Um, but we're going to be talking about live streaming. We're going to be live streaming about live streaming. So I would love to see some familiar faces there. It is very meta. But you know, it feels right. Live streaming about live streaming. I mean... That's, that's the way. And we're especially going to talk about um, live streaming when it's not something you want to do as like a full-time content creation job, uh, which I feel like is something that not a lot of folks talk about um, since so many people do use it as either their primary or secondary source of income. Um, so I think that'll be fun. It'll be good. We uh, we met today before uh, to talk about what we were going to talk about tomorrow. And it was delightful. So I'm looking forward to it. Man, sometimes when I, like, I want to turn a lot of this live streaming, like the stuff we're going to talk about tomorrow, I need to turn into a blog post too at some point. So much uh, stuff people ask me about. But finding the time to write a blog post that is not related to my day-to-day -day as much is very difficult right now. Blogs are like newspapers. Who reads blogs? Hey. I'll have you know. I get some views. <laughs> I promise you people still read blogs. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, you're like, um, I hope so because that's a big part of my job. <laughs> 
No, blogs are blogs are not dead, but they're not. When people say blogs are dead, what they mean is in terms of like influencers, like um, people don't follow blogs the way that they used to, but search still leads you to a lot of blog posts. So they're not useless by any means. Um, but like no one has an RSS reader and is like, oh, I wonder when Mia's going to update their blog next, you know? So I think of it as like, if you are an influencer slash content creator full time, that's not going to be the primary channel where people find you, but it is going to be a channel for long form content. It is going to be a channel for um, SEO driven content. So like I follow an influencer who uh, talks a lot about like, you know, body positivity. Well, I guess fat liberation is really the thing. Fat liberation and like buying specific things that are ch challenging to buy as a plus size person. And so a lot of their blog is like the best wide boots for plus size people. And you can tell it's like SEO bait. Um, because the way that everything's phrased. Not that that's a bad thing. Make that money. I do too. When Google Reader died, it took a piece of me with it. <laughs> Not to be dramatic. All right, y'all ready to focus again? Aw. Oh no, I, I keep, I, I need to figure out how to get this Pomo Farm view the best because I don't want to make it too tiny but you can't even see couldn't even see that he was taking a little bath and that's so important hold on there you go <laughs> and then uh yeah the the bear is doing science very important um let me know what you're working on this pomo coding vibe are you gonna shave I am working on this thing in google cloud that I don't know how to do okay miles Yeah, I have a lot of feelings about ChatGPT because like I've seen a lot of folks in, in the tech industry, not even necessarily in the technical side of things, be like, ChatGPT has changed my day to day. And I'm, I, I just hate it because I don't think, I think a lot of the time it's not gonna write good content. Like writing is a skill that it doesn't have. It just, it, it spits out things that have been written before, right? Um, so I don't want people to think it's replaceable, but I, I'm fine with using it as like a starting point. Um, so yeah, I find I find it, yeah, I just, I don't think that that's what you actually want for readability, for human wanting to read something. You don't want ChatGPT to write all your blog posts, but maybe as like an outline or a starting point, or I've seen people use it for idea generation, like that's all fine. Um, but yeah, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be readable. Oh my God, shut up. Yeah, that's that's just not a thing I want. <laughs> please, please. I feel like most of us probably don't want um, plagiarism in our work. Yeah, literally. Oh my God, turn it in.com. Taking me back. Oh, I think I need to be made an owner, maybe? I'll ask. Can you 
make me an owner, actually? <laughs> Thanks, IT. I'm not finding the permission I need. We will see if that fixes it. And if not, I'm gonna wave the white flag of surrender. Um, let's see, what can I work on while I wait for that? Ah. Oh my god, my dog is just licking my arm. You nasty. You can't see, but this dog has just completely leaned on me. <laughs> Have a good therapy session. I hope it's good. And if you're me, I hope there's no crying. But you're probably not me. You can see the top quarter of my dog. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hello, Miles. He 
he would appreciate the attention. Yeah, I think I need to just say, I do not know what I'm doing. Sorry, this is a little too advanced for my skill set. Sweat. Smile. Can you redeploy? Are you able to redeploy? No big rush on this. Calling that one no longer in my on my list. All oh, right, I was writing a message in here. For this page, we notice less under other. We would like Okay, now I'm looking for the GitHub Slack integration. We'll see if I can do the thing I'm trying to do.
It is. Hello, Liz. I hope you're doing well. He's um he's here because he heard me open a snack. But, you know, I'll take it. Say hi. Hello. He wants attention and maybe a snack. And now I'm covered in dog hair. Yes. Come here. Come here. If you want. Okay. I do like attention in snacks. It's true. So I'm trying to set up this integration with GitHub and Slack for a specific tag, and I don't think that's a thing. Hey, I see you. I see what you're trying to do. Please do not eat my snack. been fun but I've got to kick you out at least off my lap Such. It's so good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. We are vibing. We're playing Pomo Farm and getting stuff done. What are you up to? Oh no. I was just telling someone yesterday um, how relatable I find toddlers because sometimes I too get a little too hungry and want to cry about it. So I'm sure your tantrum was perfectly justified. No, wait, why, why don't you plug it into yours? Or is it, was that the root of the whole problem? <laughs> Ah, uh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, big mood. Oh my god, so, I mean, I started stream a little late because I've been in meetings back to back and I had to eat lunch and stuff, but um, I couldn't find my mouse because my kid likes to come in here, my toddler likes to come in here and play with stuff, and he had grabbed this and put it somewhere. There was a good couple minutes of frantic searching, but I found it. I can't, I can't work my stream PC without it. I was like, why did I let him play with it? Thank you. 
Um, yeah, truly right now he's not into toys. He's only into, um, like, I guess, real, real things. Like, he wants to pretend to wipe his nose or, like, you know, I, I wipe his nose and then he's like, no, you give me the, the uh, tissue and I will do it. But he just kind of, like, goes like this. Um, yeah, he just wants to play with, with real stuff, which is really, really sweet. But we have this awesome car ramp toy that he does not want to play with and I do. Yes! I'm so happy for you. Of course it's pink. It has to be pink. Ooh. Nice! I have... That bag has been a little too small. It's like a regular size tote bag. It's been a little too small for me to use it, but I'm excited to one day one day oh man okay so that's I mean I worked on it wasn't a satisfactory answer though um, man I can't check anything off my list because I keep having to wait on other people <laughs> that's okay That's a bummer. I don't think um, I don't think I can hook this up the way that I want to. If it's not Procreate, what's the point? Am I right? Unless it's not an iPad, is Procreate only on iPad? I don't know. I don't go here. I don't go to art. Gotcha. Yeah, procreate. Oh, some little classes. Yeah, procreate seems to be the gold standard. It's what all my tattoo artists and friends that are artists use, so. I was getting a tattoo from one of my artists and she has like one regular size iPad and then one iPad mini like on her station and I was just like this is so many iPads. The mini does seem it's funny because you're like it's barely bigger than a phone like how much more useful can it be but it is. But it is. Bless you Miles. Did y'all hear him sneeze? I I hope Apple pays them, but I doubt it. The fablet. That's a I hate saying that word, but I know what you mean. Yeah, he's a sneezy boy. He's a sneezy boy. <laughs> he's like, stop, just stop. No. I do love a pink, a pink anything. Okay, I know we're in focus time, but daycare just sent me a picture of my kid having a great time on the swing. And that's more important. <laughs> 
what a sweetie he's been having a rough time with teething so i'm just glad that he's feeling happy <laughs> Exactly. You get me. Wacom did a huge influencer campaign, so it would not surprise me if there was a similar thing for, for Create an Apple. Yeah, but, but, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. I feel like Apple's kind of weird for their software. Like, they don't, they don't care about the people that build apps as much. Maybe that's a hot take. Okay, we're in break time, but I'm going to finish sending this message real quick. should probably be the one read the manual I swear to god that put me from beginner to expert overnight gonna do that hot tip because I have no idea what I'm doing half the time ooh my little pony tarot cards that's that sounds very cute. All right, break time. We got some carrots. We watered some plants. Gonna sell some carrots. We're rich. Um, yeah, we got time. Cole Rabbi, Ra Rabbi? Cole Rabbi? Cole Rabbi. It taught me a lot of the features it has that are less obvious, which makes it much easier to use. That makes sense. I feel like a lot of folks are like that use Procreate know all the little the little shortcuts and stuff. I'm trying to get better like at the apps that I use more to use keyboard shortcuts and things like that. But we will see. We will see. I'm still I still don't know what to do about this my Pomodoro screen because it feels so tiny. The game feels so tiny, but I want you to be able to see the duck when he takes a little bath. It's hard out here. Maybe Okay, that's a little bit bigger, but then I have this whole spot at the bottom of the screen that's just kind of empty. I need to spend some time working on this, I think. Like my my screens. Oh god, that's right. Liz, you sent me you sent me my new Twitch assets and I completely forgot about it because I wasn't on my computer. Oh my god, we send each other too many links. Yeah, that's the blank space. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's, uh, ah, it's the banners. Okay, hold on. This is really cute. I need to do that. I need to, I need to update that. Oh, but the starting soon gif is helpful too. Liz made me, um, it pretty much looks exactly like my desk. Um, oh, it's really cute. Shut up, I'm gonna do stuff with it. Oh, the coffee, the drink, 
the drink closes or it closes wow the drink is either full or empty based on if it's online or offline that's really cute yeah i need to do more with my stream deck as well i have like this screen isn't on it yet because it's it's jank oh this is so cute liz i'm obsessed am i gonna add that right now yes Groove into some chill hop. Like you do. No, I'm fine with it. I think it's cool. Um, the only reason I don't use black it, when I try to do stuff in like Canva is because I am afraid of, of making it too dark, but I don't think it looks too dark at all. And because I don't know color theory. Like I'm not an artist. And that's on me. Let's see. Literally, where is the thing I'm looking for? Settings? Yeah, settings. Um, brand. We're gonna upload a custom image. We're gonna download the image first. <laughs> That's the first step. And y'all aren't going to see it until I go offline because uh, my computer is not hooked up to this one right now, which is totally fine. But I'll have to show y'all another time. Maybe I'll put it on Twitter. Yeah. No, not already. But I want to goof off. <laughs> it's okay. All right, let's uh, let me finish the snack, and then I'll start the next promo. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I was gonna do that. I'll do that before the next one. New Twitter header header XO XO Liz Loxley. Hmm. Hmm. Although. I'm going to be very sad to get rid of the Lisa Simpson header that says my interests include music, science, justice, animals, shapes, feelings. It, it me. It's hard out here for a soft vegan. Thank you. I was trying to do something to pull in my, um, my outfit a little bit so I did the like blue green eyeshadow I'm pretty happy with it here I'm gonna tweet about this thank you I don't know what it is about like I'm already running late to stream I better throw on some new eyeshadow I've never done before in my life but that happens like every time <laughs> new banner for Twitch and Twitter. Thank you. Liz Loxley. Heart. Um, a messy, an illustration of a messy desk. Including a laptop. Stationary. Plant, candles, coffee, and split keyboard. It is stylized in pink, purple, and black. It is, I'm gonna say highly, or yeah, highly stylized in shades 
of. Alt text, baby, is crucial. I don't know if I'm great at it, but I do my best. All right, cool. Okay, if y'all want to see that, it's on it's on Twitter here. Uh, www. my snack I dropped my snack there we go I put the link in like 10 years later Liz is so good Liz was like can you take a picture of your desk from like an up up view and and I, I sent something over and they were like got it and it looks perfect so those are all real things I have on my desk Including the iPad case, which it's not even here anymore because I realized I wasn't using it up here. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you. Wow. New year, new me. And by new me, I mean new branding. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna check the last of these in my gullet and then we'll get going. Mm. There's no elegant way to eat the stuff at the bottom of the bag, huh? Oh, by the way, since I haven't promoted it um, in a, a little bit, I will be on my friend Kai's stream tomorrow. Let me grab the link. And we're going to be talking about live streaming. Live streaming about live streaming. So I'd love to see you there if you have any interest in live streaming or you just want to chat. Um, we'll be talking especially about like getting started without a huge budget or wanting to stream but not wanting to monetize it and things like that. So hopefully if you're interested, you can check it out. It'll be 11 a.m. Central, which is my time zone. Um, and Kai's status there has a good little time converter if you're in a different time zone. I can barely keep my own time zone straight, so it's a smart idea to have a converter. All right, y'all ready to get some stuff done? You know what? Let's take a little hydration break. Here we go. <clears throat> and let's get going. Oh, the duck is mopping and the bear is a superhero. 10 out of 10. Amazing. No notes. Liz, before I forget, can you send me what the font is that says starting soon on the on that screen? Because I'm going to... Uh, Miles. Come here. Come here. Oh, you just want the crumb that's on me? Cool. Um, I, I want to do a countdown on my starting soon screen at some point, so I might want to use the same font. Okay. What's my next step? <laughs> yeah, there's no rush. I just didn't want to forget to tell, tell you. Um, okay, I think I'm going to switch gears entirely and work on some Confluence documentation.
um, the LGBT ERG created some documentation about uh, added link to pronouns um, about uh, adding your pronouns in different locations. So like in Zoom and uh, in your email signature and things like that. And we realized that the documentation is not linked to all the like here's our Zoom guidelines as a company and things like that. So that is my my current to-do um, Slack guidelines. Here we go. Zoom, Slack. Email signature.
Okay. Okay, I think I can call that done. Check that off my list. Boom. Boom. Hmm. Oh, what can I do? What can I do in 13 minutes? do in 13 minutes what can I do in 13 minutes someone named dusty butt liked my tweet oh Liz this is your friend Dustin that makes sense <laughs> It's just like dusty butt. <laughs> That's wild. Alrighty. Um, I think I'm gonna work on this thing I have to write up. <laughs> Did you greet him and say hello, dusty butt? <laughs> Oh, man. Dustbin. That's good. Ten out of ten would, uh, would call someone dustbin.
All right. Break time. Gonna grab our... Are these carrots? Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're rich. Do you see how rich we are? 111. Kohlrabi. Onion. <laughs> Plant. Water, water. Come on, Achievo. I want another achievement so I get another snail. <laughs> it's time. It is time. All right. How did y'all do last Pomo? Did you get some stuff done? I knocked a couple things off my list. I'm gonna... I gotta share this with the right folks. And then... I'm uh, done with that one as well, which is exciting. This, I swear to you, this co-working stream, even though I only do it once a week, it helps me so much with just accountability um, and, and getting stuff done. It's nice because I have the time blocked off so no one can um, really interrupt me, right? Like I don't have any meetings or anything like that. So I think I do a good job of getting it done. Heck yeah, brother. Yeah, it's just nice. Just nice to hang out with my friends, have some chill vibes and get some stuff done. Mm. What are you up to today, Liz? Anything exciting? Organizing? Not this dog toy on the ground. Mm. Yeah. That's the thing about workshops. Every time you uh, clean them up and then use them, you gotta clean them up again. My desk downstairs is a mess because I have cross-stitching stuff and knitting stuff everywhere. Oh, that's cool that class was canceled though. But that does mean, yeah, lack of brain juice. Liz, do you not do you not have a subscription right now? Do I need to give you a subscription? Gift a sub. <laughs> oh whoa, no way. Exo me a more gifted Liz Loxley a subscription. What? Yeah, I know, but like you can't use the emotes that you drew. A mess. Hello, coding vibe. Well, I hope you had good therapy, but needing a nap. Um, not a great sign. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Have a good nap. Yeah, enjoy your sub. Enjoy your uh, your Liz emotes, and also the the other ones that aren't Liz emotes. <laughs> I am too fast. Hey, <laughs> hey. I think I have my payment info saved. Yeah, I feel you. Y'all, our son is teething. He is teething so hard, and we are very tired. It's it's a hard life. I mostly feel for him because, like, being uncomfortable and being in pain sucks. Coding Vibe, if you're still here, look at the daycare app because they sent a cute photo, and it's very important. <laughs> They'll make you less bad. Oh my god, my Twitter's blowing up. Because Liz. Yeah, he's a sweetie. I'm glad he's happy despite, you know, having a rough time right now. I think after this next one, we get a long break. We can play a game. Cozy gameplay. Oh, hello, Megan. Blizz Megan. 
official uh official blizz megan um yeah i was saying maybe next break we can play a game probably words on stream that's what i like to play um but that's our long break so you can actually play a game rather than those little five minute breaks are hard to to do anything but yeah cozy um pama farm also cozy but mostly a timer in the form of a game <laughs> all right y'all ready to y'all ready to focus again okay hold on hold on just gonna stretch crack my neck stretch this way stretch that way stretch again and hydrate a little bit i'm gonna finish this documentation and then see what else is on my list let me know what you're working on if you would like to that's a good that's a good focus have a good nap have a good unconscious session <laughs> um thank you thank you good luck on your unconsciousness we see tomato the duck is uh practicing circus acts and the bear is doing science again is the bear always doing science doing science is that the right verb <laughs> conducting a science <laughs> Sciencing. Internal notes.
Okay, I did it. I finished this task. And I can move the card on Trello to done. Yeah. Confetti. Pew, 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 pew. All right. Woo. Next up, I'm going to review other, more different documentation. You are not too late, just a red shirt. We are still going. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> it's so good to see you. We're, uh, we're in the focus part of the Pomodoro. So tell me if you're working on something. I would love to hear about what you're working on. Oh no, I'm sleep deprived too. I'm having a, our kiddo may be teething and that's okay but I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm knocking out some documentation stuff. Oh no, all night. Whew. Oh, are, is it like a newborn baby? Because that, that would do it. Oh, uh, two months old, little baby. What a sweet angel. <laughs> yeah, I can tell it's your hype. <laughs> I tell if I spelled the word Oath correctly. I spelled it. Oh, I spelled it Oath. I guess that's also a word. Oh yeah, Red Bull also also would do that.
yeah, we're just, we're co-working. We're playing Pomo Farm, which is basically a timer, but also cute. It's like Stardew Valley meets Pomodoro. Ooh, adding new categories to our knowledge base to help our AI chatbot make good answers. Nice. Hey, that's, that's, that's handy. Um, let's see. <laughs> it's pronounced like coffee um it's a donation site so you can you can send me money and it'll show up on stream but we're listening to chill hop uh the the soundtrack is chill hop oh which i need to add to my stream panels but it looks like kofi i always thought it was kofi even though i know it's supposed to be a joke on coffee and i'm like kofi it's not correct <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to... This person was like, yes, call this whatever you want. And titling things is my downfall, so... That's that's extra clever. I think also like I took Japanese for too long, right? Because you're like Kohi, got it. <laughs> that would be clever. But his is Lazy Day Cafe, which is also very cute. You just missed coding vibe, by the way. Um, he is taking a nap. He's taking a stressed boy nap. I know, I need a nap. Kofi Kingston, exactly. Please do visit. Where I'm... Um, not to... Uh, break the news to you this way but we're moving later this year we're moving to seattle so we should see each other before then <laughs> oh shit okay several people in here that didn't know it might be we don't have a exact timeline yet um it'll probably be fall we're working on uh on getting everything ready it's uh more complicated when you have three cats a dog and a uh, baby. The baby is the biggest complication. But don't worry, we won't leave without saying anything. We are not uh, that clever. <laughs> but yeah, relocating. I've, we've all only lived in Texas our whole lives, so it's pretty scary. <laughs> Liz, that absolutely sounds like you, though, because you forget to tell people like, oh, yeah, I got married or like, you know, whatever big life thing. I will probably have some sort of going away thing, but probably I don't know. We'll see how large it ends up being because like I'm still COVID cautious, so I don't really want to have like a giant shindig. And I think I have more friends that are local than I think, like than I realize. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's exciting. Um, like, for example, today, it's it's currently 85 degrees outside in Austin, Texas. 
And I just keep thinking, I'm going to move somewhere where it's not 85 degrees in February, and that's going to be great. <laughs> Right? Although, uh, Twitty Sets told me that it, uh, snowed today, so, I mean, what you gonna do? No, no cedar season? Cedar season doesn't get me, but it gets a lot of people I know, so that'll be big. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's a lot better of a fit for us and for the baby. Maybe fewer school shootings? That'd be great. <laughs> we'll see. The way I'm trying to figure out what the hell this thing is talking about, and it's all just words that don't make sense to me. Yeah. I, I agree, but having any gun control will be better than none. And also hopefully the government would handle it better if, for example, an elementary school had a, a shooting. Like the local government, I mean, we'll see. Not to be a bummer, but living in Texas is kind of a bummer. And we have all these like anti-trans and anti-drag bills and stuff right now and the challenging the books and schools and just all kinds of backwards nonsense. It's, yeah. <laughs> yes. Life is work. You're right. You're not wrong. Yeah, I mean, I've lived here my whole life, so you get sort of used to the stuff that you don't realize is messed up. But, uh, yeah, it's like Liz said, it's getting worse and worse. Um, yeah, okay, the biggest example I can think of is just like, I found out during the pandemic how many places have mail-in voting, and they didn't even allow mail-in voting in Texas, even for the pandemic. <laughs> and it's like, oh, like there's so much voter suppression that just felt normal to me because I had no idea you could do it another way. Um, you have to register to vote uh, at least like I want to say it's usually like a month or two before the actual election so if you forget to do it like your SOL I have friends that like moved and forgot to change their address and could only vote in the state election and it's like that shouldn't be a thing yep yep yeah political refugees is exactly it um, it feels dramatic to say but it's true it feels dramatic to say because not because it's not happening, but because I have a lot of privilege and I know that. Um, but uh, having having a kid changes things because I'm like, well, why would I tolerate this for him? I don't have to. So. I'm so jealous. Voting by mail seems just significantly easier. Because you also have to like... You can do your research on who all the candidates are and what all the issues are and then just vote right there. I have to make a cheat sheet and then go to the, the polls. Yeah. I mean, I think that's a problem in a lot of places on, on I don't want to say both sides because I, I think there's a huge difference, but you know. What? No way. They do not do that in Texas. You have to do your own research. You have to find your own. I use the League of Women Voters guide. And sometimes the candidates don't even answer the questions. <laughs> so I usually don't vote for the people that don't answer. <laughs> That's wild. I literally can't imagine a world where they want you to vote. <laughs> oh, that makes me want to die. <laughs> yeah, lots of Texans in the chat here. Yep, yep. Yeah, usually, I mean... I've never had to wait super long for polls, but it depends on what day I go. Almost, Megan. Almost. You should frame that, Hadil. That's pretty cool. If I had one, I would I would frame it and be like, that's my friend. 
good space guy. Oh my god. Oh, crochet! That's cool. I'm I'm thinking of learning to crochet sometime this year. I've been doing cross stitch and embroidery though. Since apparently I can only do one new thing at a time. Or one one craft and it's never gonna be the one that you want. West Seattle. <laughs> Sorry about your bridge, homie. Oh, I've gotten ads for the Woobles. Yes. Oh, good. You got a bridge. You got your bridge back. Well, I just found out about it and found out that you got it back. So, like, that was a very quick roller coaster for me. It does, it does seem very cute. My problem is like being an annoying vegan, I try not to use animal-based yarn and so much of that stuff is wool-based. So I have to like go do my own thing because you know, I'm, because I'm like that. <laughs> but that's okay. I mostly use like cotton and bamboo and stuff. So hard being annoying. <laughs> I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. Um, I just bought a bunch of stuff from, yeah, I've actually been to a couple of yarn shops in Seattle, um, with Hadil. Hadil will know what they're actually called. Um, I just bought a bunch of stuff from Fancy Tiger Craft Co-op, which is in Denver, I believe. I know it's in Colorado. I believe it's in Denver. And I'm very excited about that because I got some stuff for visible mending, which you don't need special stuff, but I wanted special stuff. I wanted the long needles, dang it. Um, yeah, I'm doing, um, I'm going to do some visible mending. I've been dabbling here and there, but the next project I have in mind is some of my toddler's pants because uh, when you're a toddler, you wear through the knee very quickly. And we mostly have hand-me-downs because um, I have environmental guilt about everything. Um, so we're getting some holes in the knees. So I'm, I'm going to have some cute patches. I just cut one that is like... Um, like constellations and stars. So we're gonna have like some little starnies. It's gonna be really cute. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll post a uh, picture somewhere, somewhere. I don't know where to post pictures anymore because I don't like Twitter anymore. What do I do? <laughs> Maybe Instagram, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will, I'll share if people are interested, but it's gonna be cute. Yeah, absolutely. Have you hemmed pants at all? I'm trying to figure out how to do that without busting out a sewing machine. Okay, so I don't hem stuff often because I'm a lazy butt, but um, you can always use something like stitch, stitch witchery or like an, an iron on thing to do a fake hem. Um, it's obviously not the best, but it's better than not doing it. And if you're, if you're between, I will not hem this and ever wear it, or I must do kind of a janky hem something that is like an iron solution would probably work better for you. Like if you're not gonna bust out your sewing machine, if you know this about yourself. Wait, let me see this duck brunch. Is it, is it literally duck, duckbrunch.com? Duck brunch. Combining the best of brunch with the best of partying. Brunch with, with rubber ducks. Oh, you decorate them. Okay, okay. 
schedule. Show me the schedule. This website's too clever for me. I just, I want the basics. And it's like, look at all the animations. Oh, I don't think they have one scheduled. I think that's why. I'm into that though. I want a decorated rubber ducky. My duck Valentine. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. It's very cute. Busting it out means I have to relearn how to do it. Hand sew or the iron thing might be easiest. Yeah. Um, I will say if you do bust out the sewing machine, I think you'll have an easier time than you think because you'll remember how to do it a little bit. Like it's kind of like riding a bike. It'll take a sec, but you'll get there. Just glitter glue and feathers. <laughs> Looks like their Instagram is more updated. Um, I keep all my electronics. Like I've got almost all my mobile tech, all my computer tech, all cords and such. I hate the fact that we make accidental chemical bombs when recycled improperly. Yeah, I am with you. Um, so now I use a service called Ridwell, which Hadil uses as well. I know they're also in Seattle. Ridwell.com should be right. Oh, I can't type. I have too many keyboards on my screen. Hold. There we go. So Ridwell um, is a recycling service that they take the items that are recyclable, but don't typically get picked up curbside like batteries. And then they'll also have a rotating category. So they'll do things like corks from wine bottles and stuff. They'll do um, certain electronics and stuff like that. So we have like a pile for electronics recycling for stuff that doesn't have a life anymore. Um, if it does, I usually give it away on buy nothing. So I had like this super old tablet that I wasn't using anymore and people on buy nothing went, went nuts. I had a series two Apple watch because I upgraded and Apple didn't want to take it, which is fine. Um, but they were like, it's too old. And I'm like, someone will use it. It's perfectly usable. Um, so I, I gave it to someone on buy nothing and they were really excited about it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know you couldn't just throw away batteries either, but now we do battery recycling and it's no big deal because we have Ridwell. Um, this is not an ad. <laughs> Um, but I really do like Ridwell. If you are in a city that they have it, I, I can give you a free um, a free month, I believe, and you can see how it works. So it sucks that you have to pay for it because it's like this should just be included with, um, you know, living. But yeah, um, DM me or send me a text on some platform so I remember um, after I get off stream. But I'm, I'm happy to send you a link. Um, yeah, it should be covered by my taxes. Oh, good to know. Apartment buildings might have a subscription. That's smart. I know also the co-op in town will have like a bin um, or ours does. So like I went by once and it was like, bring your corks in this week and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's, I don't find it to be, yeah, it was Wheatsville. <laughs> I don't find it to be super duper expensive because the biggest thing that they take that is annoying is plastic film, which is not curbside recyclable. So if you get like those thin grocery bags, which I try to avoid, but sometimes when you do curbside, they give you those instead of the paper ones, even when you ask really nicely, um, stuff like that. Um, but they, they take the thin plastics and I find, I feel way less guilty recycling those. Yeah. A mending library. That's very cool. That's very cool. I'm getting more and more into mending these days. Okay. I'll start, I'll start the actual break instead of just chatting and not doing the timer because I want to hang out. 26 monies. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Come on, achievements. I want to achieve something here. Um, have a good blog edit. Um, I know, I know that's uh, that's brain brain bending work sometimes. So I hope you have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. It was so delightful to chat with you. Yeah. Um, this is our long break. What should we do? Should we play a game? Should we play words on stream? And if so, do I have, do I have my thing set up for that? That's the big question. Yeah, have a good one. Um, I do not. Okay. Give me, give me some, some feedback if you want to play words on stream or not. Um, we can just chit chat if you want for the next... 10 minutes I can go I can go big <laughs> hello feels weird being this large honestly on the screen but it is what it is oh man I 
Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I did my makeup in like 10 minutes before stream, so I appreciate it. I um I wanted something that matched my shirt a little bit more. Because I was like, look, I'm wearing a color today. Whoa. Whoa. And the easiest way to do that is just put it in the inner corner. That's my secret cap. I put it in the inner corner. This is the Trixie Cosmetics Plant Gay is the is the inner corner color. The um, other color is my blush from the 90s Trixie Cosmetics palette. Trixie Cosmetics, Twitty Such, that is the answer. Pat McGrath is good. Um, I'm a Trixie Cosmetics bitch because uh, I'm I'm a loyal fan. Oh my god, I have like two lip things on my desk right now that are both her. But like, look how cute the component is. And then look, it's look like it's candy. It's candy. It's candy. Yeah, she doesn't make um like a lot of complexion stuff. Uh, I mean, I guess blush counts, but like not like um, concealer foundation kind of stuff. So I feel like you should be good. But I don't know what is subderm safe and what isn't. So don't don't listen to me. Do your own research. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm a big fan. Big Trixie Mattel stan over here. Hashtag research. Hashtag. Oh, we've been watching The Circle. I don't know if any of y'all are The Circle fans, but they do a lot of wild hashtags in that show. <laughs> They're just like, hashtag in it to win it. Hashtag till the end. Hashtag blah, blah, blah. I'm about to research playing Destiny 2. I don't think that's research. Um, but you know what? I won't tell. <laughs> I won't tell if uh, you don't tell. <laughs> Hadil, have you met just a red shirt? <laughs> you are both Destiny fans. I don't know anything about Destiny. I just know that y'all both like it. <laughs> Best friends. Y'all are both great humans so this checks out um Hadil was at my y'all were both at the wedding um but I don't know if you met um Hadil was one of my bridesmaids Twitty Such was one of my bridesmaids new expansion hype hype Yeah, I know. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Gosh, I was just talking today. I was like, wait, how many days does March have? I should know this because the last day of March is my anniversary. And I don't remember if it's the 30th or the 31st. Quality. Wait, I didn't know you had a seizure. Did I know that? I don't remember. I'm sorry. That sounds serious. And like it changed things. Uh, no, he wasn't. Not quite local enough. We kept it really tiny. This is not because we don't love you. <laughs> we we had like the world's uh, smallest baby shower and didn't invite uh, folks that weren't already local because of that. Wow, that's... I had no idea. That's terrible. I mean, yeah, I hope. I hope you found whatever works for you. I know I had a nibbling that was that was going through that as well. And they weren't really sure what it was about. Man. Bodies, am I right? They just betray you. They just betray you. They exist to betray you. I mean, that's my understanding. Anyway, yes, absolutely. This one time I decided to have a baby because I was like, I go to therapy. I've been going to therapy for a decade. I'm healed. And then I found out I had ADHD. <laughs> I said, I know everything about myself. And I did not. I truly did not. That's okay. But it's very funny. 
uh oh i'm healed i know <laughs> i know it's like i'm asking um i'm tempting fate over here right i'm healed well i thought i'm healed enough which i think i think i feel comfortable with all that but yeah it's not really a it turns out you don't quit learning and growing through life and that's unfortunately just the way it is ADHD do be like that though it do be like that finding out so much about my brain is just a developmental thing that I could not avoid and not that I'm a piece of shit kind of a relief but also yeah kind of frustrating to find out this late in life but that's okay that's okay I've gotten over my feelings about it mostly <laughs> mostly and now we know that our kid has ADHD on both sides of the family so uh we are there to support him should he need it <laughs> the odds are not in his favor love to inherit a broken brain <laughs> oh totally that was the thing I, that we definitely thought about was you know do we have any genetic stuff that we absolutely don't want to pass down but the biggest thing was like my brain stuff it was like the thing that would have helped me the most is understanding as a kid for my parents who weren't in a position to understand and because I am in a position to understand because I have that experience I felt like I could do a good job at guiding someone through that and getting the resources they needed and understanding where they need help um, and so I was comfortable with that I still I think I would have still picked that uh, even if I'd known I had ADHD before we had a kid but yeah that's that's kind of where I was at but like I totally understand not wanting to watch someone go through the same struggles that you go through or you have gone through. Totally makes sense. But it's a total, it's a very personal decision. <laughs> Nobody can make that choice but you. And I guess your partner. You should probably both be involved on the choice. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard. It's so hard. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm worried about that age range because that's where a lot of my stuff started as well, right? Like nine to 13. Yeah, yeah. Well, your nephew's lucky to have you so that, you know, get on the right track with all that. Get help sooner rather than later because it builds. It does. Yeah. I do think our generation and the next generation are doing better with that kind of stuff. Like it's more accepted to go to therapy and to have mental illness or, or disability or anything like that and just kind of accept it and, you know, do something about it rather than deny that it exists and try to toxic positivity your way through everything, um, which I think is helpful. All right. Well, hey. Hey, technically we should do another Pomodoro, but it's already 5.10 here and I don't have time to stick around the whole time. So I'm going to call it here. Um, let me see who we can wait, raid. We can chit chat while I do that. See who's online right now. Hopefully doing something similar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I think we should raid my friend Sam KitKat, who is doing chatting and portfolio work. Um, that sounds very fun to me. So please, please have fun in my friend Sam's stream. Um, she is fantastic. She is very sweet. Um, I did get a warning that said that this channel is for mature audiences. So just a heads up. I think my channel is also for mature audiences. So, you know, don't, uh. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever I was trying to say. Here, let me make it large again. Um, thank you, everybody, for popping by. I really appreciated it. I got a lot done. I hope you did, too. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I will see you again on Friday. I will be here learning JavaScript. Um, oh, I meant to do a, a code, uh, code Wars challenge today, but I guess it didn't happen today. That's OK. We'll do it next time. So yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, y'all are angels. Um, yeah. 
please come by on Friday. We're learning some more JavaScript and we'll go from there. I'll see you next Wednesday as well for more co-working and more Pomo Farm. And it's just going to be a good time. Appreciate y'all so much. Have a good rest of your day and remember to keep it cute. Bye.